We need to go back to Ustengrav. Have we been at Ustengrav before? Yeah, we have. We were there earlier. That's where the horn was supposed to be. Oh, we gotta turn that in. No, no, there's something there. We have to go back there and Wait, get don't we have thing. to turn the horn into these guys here in Sky the, the Greybeards? I don't, I don't know. I don't know anymore. We got your horn! Hey, wake up! Ah, you've retrieved the horn of Jorgen Wimko. Don't just take it out of my hands! Well I was gonna done. give it to you! You have now passed all the trials. Yay! Come with me. It is time for us to recognize you formally as Dragonborn. Weren't you already? I don't like formality. Can't we just... Just send me my certificate. Alright, so... Do I stand right here? Oh, yeah, I stand right here. Push, unrelenting force. Stop it! Give me a warning before you do that. Well, you wanted to have Max push. I did, yeah, but you gotta give me warning first. Huh? We would I'm saying that. <laughs> Agnir, you're a little slow on the uptake. Stand us and prepare yourself. Few can withstand the unbridled voice of the Greybeards. Oh, there you go. You are ready. Unlike you, who's still coming. He's gonna throw some sprinkles on you. Linda ah! Crosses. Ah! I thought you said that they couldn't say stop. Each ni son she go. Rokyu. Wobbly thwart squish squeeze smoosh. That's what it feels like when I get a migraine. Up shut monkey tooth armpit quack. Why are you just saying stuff? You don't remember any of that stuff? <laughs> Sorry, I still go. It is. <laughs> all right, all right. How long is this? Okay, okay. okay. Remarks complete. Dovahkin, you have tasted the voice of the Greybeards and passed through unscathed. Yay! High Hrothgar is open to you. Hooray! Now I can do this. Force Broda! You can scream really loud. Now I can yell really loud. Okay, oh, let's he's going back to doing that. All right, let's go find a victim. Yay! We're heading to Ustengrav for some reason. Ustengrav away. Yeah, we gotta go back there. Chicken told me to go back to Ustengrav and touch where the horn used to be. Some chicken told me. He also told me that <laughs> you had a boy hen that looked like a girl hen that he had in February of last year. Wouldn't a, a boy hen would just be a rooster? So. <laughs> yes. It's, it's, yeah, we picked up the horn here. Must uh, left something behind. Read a mysterious note that we read. Yeah, yeah, yeah. From from what's her name? Oh. Ow! Oh, there was just a free soul in there. Huh? Ah, that really hurt. More souls. Give me another one. All right, fine. I guess that was worth a little minor excursion. I have another dragon soul now. I got it for free. And then I want to go to Falkreath. Sure. I'm not sure. Have we been to Falkreath yet? I don't know if we have, actually. Oh, okay. Oh, it's down. Okay, all right, all right. <laughs> uh, hang on, hang on. This is Fal This is the, the city of Falkreath. Uh-huh. Right? Yep. There it is. Yep. Why is Mount Falkreath all the way up here? Shouldn't Falkreath be, be, be by Mount Falkreath? Maybe Falkreath is the name of the person who found the mountain and on, then founded the town down there. I, maybe. <sighs> Need a ride? Uh, I want to hire your carriage. Where do you want to go? I want to go to Falkreath. Climb and back and we'll be off. Okie dokie. What's in Falkreath? There's, um, there's that bench. Isn't it, it's more of an easel, but yeah, whatever. It's a drafting bench, I think. <laughs> yeah. But like, why is it so overbuilt? Whatever. It's got to be stable for when you're drawing. It's got a gyroscope in the center. Yeah. No, it's really, it's really big and heavy so that it's stable while you draw on it. So when you, when you, when you get angry that you couldn't draw a circle properly for the 80th time, after... Did you see a dog out there? A what, what kind of dog? I don't know, really. The blacksmith is offering a reward for a dog he saw on the road. I was hoping you'd seen it. I guess I'll stay on the lookout. Keep your nose clean while you're here, outsider. You're the guard, so I would assume that you would stay on the lookout. I... Uh, if there's a reward out for a missing dog, we could probably go find it. Yeah. That's kind of a fun cape. I kind of like this guy's cape. Look at this! That is pretty nice. Oh, that's a cool cape! Guess. Someone stole your sweet roll. Wow, man! I was complimenting you on your cape, Which and Which matches gonna... your shield! What a jerk. So, Lord, is it true you weren't always a blacksmith? Yes, I was Dengir's personal guard for years. I risked my hide more than once to protect him. 
You must miss those days. But if you can't swing your weapon, forging one's the next I'd be a lot warmer and a lot happier with a belly full of mead. Hi, I was listening to ambient conversations. Thank you very much. I can't steal his cape. That's unfortunate. Maybe we can find one later. Yeah, maybe we'll, maybe we'll find one. Maybe a dragon will attack the town soon, and he'll die. This is kind of a neat little village. It's, it's not, yeah, not it's, bad. It's cozy. I like it. Sure. It probably looks a lot better without rain, but, uh, yeah. I don't like it here. There's too many bugs. Okay. Some of the miners brought back some real stubborn pieces of ore. It'll take some extra care to turn them into proper weapons. Oh, hello there. What can I do for you? Blades, gauntlets, I can forge anything you need. Uh, what the f- What the fuck is this one? You don't want to say that conversation option. You don't have to choose it. God! What is this- What is this neckbeard thing? I'm gonna be rude. I doubt you could forge anything worth what- No, I'm not gonna do that. Are you the local blacksmith? No, that would be Lord. Big, burly fellow. But don't let that scare you. He's a friendly sort and loyal as a dog. Both to the Empire and to Dinger. Although I suppose that puts him at odds with himself. Okay, who the hell are you? I'm just an apprentice and a wayward traveler like yourself. I'm actually on a pilgrimage to train under the great blacksmiths of Skyrim. And also this guy. When I'm finished, I'll return to my home in Cyrodiil and hopefully apply what I've learned to the family business. I'm an apprentice who talks shit about the guy that's teaching me. Ah, <laughs> uh, everyone from Cyrodiil, just an asshole to everyone else. Seems like a bit of a generalization. Well, I'm from Cyrodiil, so I would know. That explains why you're an asshole. Yeah. Do you got any cool stuff? You got, uh... Alright, we'll try that. Ooh. Oh my, I like that. Ooh, does Mike want a new outfit? Mikey likey that outfit. May your shield be stout, and your sword steady. <laughs> <laughs> May your shield be stout and... <laughs> There's been some attacks late at night, mostly on the livestock around town. I better forge some better blades for the guards, just in case. No, forge worse blades. Let them die in combat. Yeah, it'll be funny. Besides, I want his cloak. Well, that looks sharp. Yeah, the crimson armor cuirass. Looks really nice. I'm never taking this off. Unless I find something really cool and I want to show it off for a bit. But then I'm going to immediately go back to this one. Yeah. Hey, Wad! Did you see a hound on the road? Fine, strong creature that's been wandering near town. I did not see one. The guard of the gate mentioned one, though. I asked the gate guards to look for him. I can't afford to chase him down, but could use a fierce, loyal beast to keep me company. We can find you a bear. If you were willing to retrieve him for me, I'd give you some fresh meat to attract him out on the road. Yeah, sure, I can do that. There's some gold in it for you if you succeed. So this guy wants a dog. Okay. You just go, you just go get a dog. It's an option. A lot of hunters come here to buy light armor. Soldiers prefer the heavy plate. Just out of curiosity, is are those like red bands on your arm like anti-pilfer tape? It is actually. If, oh. if someone tries to rob me, if someone tries to take this armor from me, it explodes and a cloud of black ink shoots out on them. Damn, that's pretty boss. It's not bad. I kind of like the ebony armor though. <laughs> like I'm, I'm gonna be honest, I think the ebony armor is a little bit more fun. You're allowed to stick with what you like. I like the I like the ebony. Yeah. I've seen a few mages around town wearing ebony mage armor, which, Ooh. yeah, you might like that the most. A combination mm. of ebony armor and a mage gear. Maybe. All right, so we're looking for a dog. Just place some meat on the road. Oh, I see the dog. You are exactly ah! what I was looking for. Uh, it's a, a talking dog. Why is it talking in a New Jersey accent? Yeah, Skyrim is now host to giant flying lizards and two-legged cat men. And you surprised by me? Yeah, I just talked, and I'm continuing to do so. <laughs> you see, my name is Bobbis, and I have a problem I think you can help sort out. Okay. Uh, I, I have questions first. What on earth would a dog need help with? I could scratch you behind your ears. I can do that one. My master and I had a, a bit of a falling out. We got into an argument and it got rather heated. He's kicking me out until I find someone who can settle our disagreement. That's where you come in. Okay. Is Lod this dog's master? No, no, no. Lod was saying that he wants this dog because he, the dog looks big and strong. Okay. 
Uh, oh, so you're a little lost, puppy. Yeah, very funny. <laughs> My master's clavicus vile. Daedric Prince of Wishes. Oh, damn. As you can imagine, he's quite the important person. All right, let's go find your master. I don't know how the hell we're going to find a Daedric Prince, but... Thank you. Now, since he banished me, Vile's been rather weak. He can't manifest very far from one of his shrines. I know there's a cult that worships him at Hamar's Shame. We should be able to talk to him there. If this works out, I'll make sure you're rewarded. Hey, just don't trust any offer he makes you, okay? Um, okay, I'll I'll do that. So we're just following you then. Alright, we're I, following the dog. I was going to question why this dog can speak, but he mentioned Daedra and all was made clear. Exactly. A wizard did it, quite literally. Well, I mean, they're, they're more powerful than wizards. They're evil wizards. They're like... Evil super wizards. They're like almost gods. Evil demigods. Yeah. Well, they're not, they're not necessarily evil, just maybe ambivalent to the needs of humanity. Well, now we're getting into the nitty gritty. If you see great evil being done and you do nothing to stop it, are you not complicit in evil? Does that not make you evil by association? No, see, now you're just talking about random stuff. I think that they're more ambivalent than random, evil. It's not random stuff. Hi, <laughs> hi guys, hi guys, how you doing? Just walking past, yep, it's all, totally fine. Don't mind us, we're following this dog. Yep. It's all good. It's all good. Follow the dog. Follow the dog. As Whoa. Whoa, attempts. big dude, big dude, oh, big yeah. dude. It's a minotaur. Die, minotaur. Uh, all right, well, minotaur is dead. Watch this. Ready? Fuss it. Roda. Wow. Woo. She didn't get killed from that, but if she were above a cliff, I could see this being a fatal yeah. blow. Oh, we're, we're losing the dog. We're losing the dog. Slow down, Fido. Pace yourself, God. Or you want to stop here? Yeah, why'd, why'd he kick you out? Well, I guess you could say I got on his knives. I tend to be the voice of reason, and he finds that uh, irksome. He couldn't just kill me, you see. We're technically part of each other. Oh. But he was able to banish me from his domain. Of course, because of our separation, Vile is now much weaker. I guess he figured it was a small price to pay for not having to listen to me anymore. I can't say he's wrong. All right, let's listening get back to, on the road. I might get slightly annoyed at listening to this all the time. It does seem to be quite irritating. I mean, I can tell you that I have to listen to myself inside my own head, and that is infuriating. That's one of the reasons I'm so... Don't lay down. <laughs> Maybe he sees enemies ahead we gotta take care of first. Oh, yeah, let, let's wait for that to finish playing out. <laughs> Hey! I saw you take care of those wild animals, thank you! Hey, how dare you! Who are you? What's a milk drinker like you doing out here? You're- Go home to your mother. You shouldn't talk to me like that. Why? What are you gonna do? Cry? Set you on fire and cut your head off? I don't have to take that from you! I'll try and make okay, I guess we're taking out random guards now! Dude, he's not a random guard, he's a red guard. That's just his race, isn't it? Yep. Oh. All right, follow the dog. So he just killed some random guy. Well, he shouldn't have called me a milk drinker. Okay, we killed him not because he was a red guard, because he was a dick. Yeah. I just need to be sure we're not doing a racism. That's all. We're not doing it. it, it have... It's so easy to accidentally do a racism out here. I've come to learn something about Skyrim. Yeah. Basically, every single person that lives in Skyrim is racist. Well, it's, it's on the litmus test. Hello and welcome to Skyrim. Uh, it's time for your citizenship test. What's the first thing you think when you look at me? I think of a racial slur. Ah, excellent. You are welcome to Skyrim, sir. Now wait. Apparently, a bunch of random bandits. Are these the ones worshiping your leader? Uh, Help take them out. Even the ones that are half naked. Uh, For whatever reason, we're not going to question it. Uh, Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. Very impatient. Wait, no, I lost him. I, goodness. Stop running so far ahead, you mangy mutt. Wait a minute. We got to hurry and kill this guy. Wait a minute. I'll see you, bud. Oh, I've been here before. This is, this, this is, uh, Helgen. Running through Helgen where you got attacked. Running through Hel- Ooh. Yikes. Dog, why are you taking us to the ruins of the dragon attack? Stabby, stabby! Don't fight back, and I promise I'll kill you quickly. <laughs> Damn, did that suck? Somewhere up there, maybe? Do. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you suck with a bow. Returning fire. 
Mother of all, guide me! <laughs> no one's... This is ridiculous. We're just picking up each other's arrows off the ground. Oh, damn! That was a nice shot from them. We're bound to get one eventually. It must have been a, a bow. Yeah, it was a defect in that bow. Zephyr, you gotta use your bound bow. That was I'll a lot better. See you, but... oh, there we go! There you go. <laughs> I don't know why that took me so many tries. I don't know what was going on there. He's got a lot of cover. He had the natural high ground advantage. Dog, wait, come back! Oh man, this has been a really shit day. First so... I get separated from Clav, it gets vile. Then I gotta do this weird New Jersey accent. So, were you always a dog? Was the Daedra half dog and he decided to split his dog half off? I don't know. I feel like this is just his voice of reason and he was like, I don't want to listen to my voice of reason Why anymore. is his voice of reason a puppy? I don't know! I don't understand how Daedra work! Fair Give enough, no ore. one does! Oh, I got rid of my pickaxe so I can't mire an iron ore anymore. Oh no. Oh no! It's not like I was using it for anything anyway. You mean you're telling me you don't carry your pickaxe around the entire continent in case you might find a random ore vein? I mean, I usually do. I just kind of forgot this time. <laughs> if a Daedra is involved, we shouldn't take things at face value. Maybe this dog is luring us to a trap. I'm getting sick of rabbit. <laughs> Go tell the commander. I'm sure the boot in your arse will take your mind off your troubles. Ah. All right, we don't, we don't have time for that right now. We're following a dog. Whoa! Sky whale! Ooh! <laughs> Look at it go! Woo! Stop being fascinated with Sky Whale! <laughs> Follow talking dog! Oh, the Sky Whale! I love him! <laughs> Woo! Just watch out for Sky Ambergris. That you wanna go straight? You wanna go straight? Why is my arrow glowing so bright white that it's hard to look at? Oh, dang, it is. Oh! Uh, inside the cave we go. Okay, into this cave. Time for you to. <laughs> Time for you to. <laughs> vampire Stroll. Is this Daedra also a vampire? No. Is the Daedra I... employing a vampire? Maybe. Does the dog go down this narrow passageway. This is the prime ambush spot. Just roll well, a boulder right in front of the entrance. Yeah. <laughs> Give me bounce sword, give me, give me bounce sword. Don't step on the trap. Vampire fledgling! Is someone there? Man, I cannot see. Did you hear something? What, did you see that? That's the best <laughs> you can do. Oh, is that what the, what the vampire scrolls, eh? You know, he might kill me, but I'm, I'm too intrigued by this. I'd I'm, like to see him try. I'll show you a real fight. Oh. Will you? Because <laughs> you're this poor vampire. You're just A-posing. <laughs> All right, all and right. now how this you... guy, the greatest threat of them all. How you doing, buddy? How you doing? You all right? I can't help but notice the Oh, vampire. he's dead now. He's dead. Oh, great. He died in that pose. Oh, man. Eleanor Saber. Isn't... Uh, it looks stupid. Isn't Eleanor the homeworld for the Altmer? Uh, I'm trying to pick up lore. I, I don't know. Uh, I did not pay attention in cultural studies. <laughs> Because I was just like, why are you making me learn cultural stuff for blacksmithing? I don't care who designed the sword. I'm just going to make it. A great rider's blade, huh? What's that look like? It's a sword. Okay, that is actually pretty cool. I want to see this great rider's blade. Pretty basic. I want to see this great rider's blade. Is it cool? Oh, it's two-handed. Ah, I want this to be one-handed. Look how cool it looks. I'm not, I'm, I'm. Is it cool? It, seems like it is cool. It looks cool. All right. It looks cool because it looks like a normal sword. <laughs> Unlike these fanciful ones. It doesn't have stupid holes in the end of it for putting rings through it. <laughs> it did not set off any of their traps because we're wise to their schemes. I would never s set off a trap. Oh my god, I don't like this thing. Is that a oh. Wow! Ow, 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 ow. Oh, oh my whoa. god, that actually hurts my head. I'm not sure if they're flammable, but I'm using fire because I think it should burn to death. Forever. Oh, see, they're stuck in the choke point. Don't get too close. Okay, that sucked. What the hell were those things? Gherkins. Oh, they were gherkins. Okay, so they were crotch wigs. Yes. Oh, me. You, you guys, you guys got that one right. Yeah, oh yeah, he's got like a like a purple brain, but I think he's. I can, I can sit this one out. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. 
I helped. Yeah, that's right, you're stupid. Big stupid idiot with iridescent skin. Big dummy. Yeah, you tell him. Big dumb idiot. I don't see no danger here, though. Response to Barrow's speech. Antecedents of Dwemer Law. Oh, boy. I'm going to read Antecedents of Dwemer Law. You've already done that. Therefore, since both Morphlyphs and the Daedric sigils required for a hyperagonal media can- It's just liminal bridges again! Oh, they changed the cover and fool John. Ah! I'm <laughs> Dog is I up ahead it. and he's attacking people for me. Now, is he already ahead of us? We gotta- <laughs> So, it looked like she was spitting green goo on you? Yeah, that was kind of weird. <laughs> I don't like that. Man, I really hope I die in here. They're trying to suck my bro. They're not even putting into a Philly cheesesteak. That was like the worst New Jersey accent I think I've ever heard. Bye, Thrall. Do we have to uh, desecrate this statue? Uh, hey, got a request for you. By all means, let's hear it. Play free bird. It's the least I could do since you already helped me grant one final wish for my last worshippers. They wanted to die? They were suffering so from vampirism and begged me for a cure. Then you came and ended their misery. Oh. I couldn't have planned it better myself. All right then. So, what's your heart's desire? What kind of deal can we strike? Um... I'm not sure we want a deal from you if you just monkeys pawed your own followers. Yeah, I don't know if... Uh, hang on. I, 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 let me let me think for a second. Let me think for a second. I want the power to crush all before me. Really? Power? You are a dragonborn. You already have more power than most people who are immense fire-breathing monsters. But not all the power. As much as I hate to say it, you're almost as powerful as I am right now. But that's just because half of my power resides in that mutt Barbis. Hey, come to think of it, I know of a win-win situation for both of us. Mm hmm Okay, what, what is the offer? There's an axe. An incredibly powerful axe. An axe powerful enough for me to have quite a bit of fun indeed. But you're a statue. If you bring it to me, I'll grant you my boon. No strings attached, no messy surprises. At least not for you. Mm. As I recall, it's resting in Rhyme Rock Burrow. Barbers can lead you right to it. Little Mutt might even earn his place back at my side. Barbas yeah. told us not to trust you, though. Hey. Barbas, what do you have to say about this? So what's the story behind this axe? One of Clavicus's little Jess, a wizard named Sebastian Lord, had a daughter who worshipped her scene. When the daughter became a werewolf, it drove Sebastian over the edge. He couldn't stand to see his little girl take on such a bestial form. The wizard wished for the ability to end his daughter's curse. <laughs> Clavicus gave him an axe. Oh, what a dick move. And now he wants that back, so he's what? All right, well, let's go get that axe, I guess. Okay. B -b 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 there, there should be... How do you descend this portcullis? Excellent. Get it! That's how, apparently. Great, so now we don't... <laughs> Mushroom was waiting for us at the very end. <laughs> hey, I came... I, I went the wrong way. <laughs> so, from Haymar's Shrine, we're gonna go... Woo! Pretty far away. Yeah, pretty far away. Pretty far away. Man, that is really far. All right, retrieve the rueful axe. All right! So you actually gonna try to get some power from the Daedra? No, I was just saying I was just saying dumb stuff. I don't care. <laughs> right. Well, there's a cave right there, but I hey, think we've already been in there. Is it? I see an Ashenak in the distance. Mm, I hope it's friendly. It's not friendly. Oh, of course it's not. No, that's how hey, it was weak to fireballs. That's surprising. How uh, well? It's because it's fire and fire. Hey, ding ball! Right. I do not envy those creatures that make a home in such a cold, dark place as this. Oh, it's two-handed. And uh, didn't really have to go very far to grab that. Wow. Oh. Oh wait, that's the. Okay. That that that's the guy that was given the axe. Sebastian Lord's daughter was a werewolf. Is that what he yes. said? Yes. And he gave he gave him an axe to cure his daughter's werewolfism. We didn't actually see the, a werewolf body down here, but 
the werewolf may have escaped, or maybe he killed her at a different location and then came here. Do vampires have to shave? <sighs> That's actually a good question. God I, damn I have not seen very many vampires that have facial hair. Well, like, because vampires don't age. So does that mean, like, everything stops growing? Do vampires can't grow facial hair. Do or maybe they shave all of their facial hair because it makes it difficult to bite somebody if the hair is I don't think way. it makes it difficult. It's just going to make a mess. Like, you're going to get blood all over that. and uh, like. <laughs> different... I'm just saving some human for later. Just, uh, ah, ah. And the blood strainer. Uh, <laughs> it's instead of a soup strainer. Huh? Oh, I hate it. <laughs> hey, we're back. Ah, you've got the axe. Yes. And my dog. Splendid. Well, we had that, but you, you want us to kill your dog. We came you? here with the dog. Oh. Fulfill your end of the bargain. Ah, oh, but it almost seems a shame to give a weapon like that away, doesn't it? I suppose I could be persuaded to let you keep it. I don't want it, though. But only if you use the axe to kill Barbus. Simple as that. Yeah. You can take the axe and... <laughs> And you can take the axe and take your stupid dog back. Huh. You're no fun at all. Guess I'll have to make my own fun elsewhere. Yes. And with the pup back, I'll be restored to my full power. Yeah. There's a whole world just waiting for me. Why did you sever him in the first place? Because he's not very smart. I knew I could trust you. Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah, yeah, dog gets master, master gets cosmic X. Everyone's happy. Just get over here, Mutt. I... Don't go back in there. Don't worry, I'll make sure he sees the light. I trusted you. Now you trust me. I... Uh, all right. I, I don't think... No, you should Ooh. not... Whatever you're doing is a bad idea, I can already tell. Ah, oh, that feels so much better. You forget how nice supreme power feels until you've been stuck in a cave for a few years. Now, as for your wish, yeah, power was it? Yeah. Uh, I... You can be part of a tremendous power. All you have to do is let your soul be absorbed by this axe. I've never said it would be your power. Ah, uh, there's that monkey paw. Oh, fine. Have my bone and be done with it. I don't got more interesting deals to make anyway. Yeah, whatever you, whatever. Oh, he gave me a mask. So I shouldn't have said power. It was just the first thing that came to my mind, but I didn't actually want that. Here you go. It's a booger. I named it power. Ew. Uh, prices are twenty percent better. Increase your speech by ten points. Magic or regenerate five percent faster. Not the worst thing I've ever. Well, seen. damn. I'll have to remember to put this on every time I go to the store. You'll never remember. I'll keep forgetting. <laughs> It looks kind of fun, though. It, uh, it's a thing, all right. Not quite power, I would say, but, uh... Well, you know, I probably shouldn't have asked for power in the first place. I should have asked for, like, a sandwich or something. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You ask for a sandwich, and he will give you a witch made out of sand. That will try to kill you. Yeah. I should have just asked him to pay off my student loans. <laughs> that would have been the correct one. He's still holding up the mask that he gave you, which is weird. Maybe he's got, like, a box full of them. Does it's a promotional item! We have completed... Oh, you know what? We should go back to the blacksmith and tell him we couldn't find the dog. Okay, yeah. Let's yep. go to Falkreath. <sighs> Dude shows up in town and you're like, Hey, can you go get me a dog? And he's like, sure thing, buddy. And then he comes back covered in blood, wearing a stone mask. And he's just like, I found a dog that didn't go well. <laughs> <laughs> Any other small animals you want us to find? <laughs> Lord, is it me or are we low on iron? Do we have enough for the next shipment? Ah, now that is a good question. Let's keep an eye on the supply. What? Steel's good, but loyalty's better. I'm loyal to Dengear first, and the Empire second. So you know that dog on the road you asked me to get? Yeah, he was a lot more trouble than he was worth. Much obliged. Here. It's not much, but take it anyway. Why are you paying us a small sum? <sighs> that is a very paltry sum. Hey. Only a hearty soul travels the road these days. Sounds like loyalty is pretty important to you. I was Dengear's personal guard for years. I risked my hide more than once to protect him. Why would I do that? For money? Because I swore an oath? No. Because you're stupid? It was because he was a good man and a true friend. 
Okay. The true Nord places loyalty and honor above all else. Yes, we do. Uh, okie dokie. See me at my forge if you need arms or armor. I am at your forge, and I do not need arms or armor. That's what I just, I just sold them to you. Goodbye. Can you taxidermy my cat? Okay. And what kind of post do you want him in? Uh, scared. The, put him in the fuck me up fam post. <laughs> pose. I'm going to be honest, I don't actually want this cat taxidermy, and I'm doing this for my, for my daughter, who I really don't care about. <laughs> oh, jeez. I'm sure she's going to love this. I'm trying to emotionally scar her for life. <laughs> Put him in whatever post you can think that one is. I want child services to take her away from me. My my end game here, I, I hate my wife, I hate my kids. My end game is to get my kids so emotionally scarred that the child services takes them away from me so that when I divorce my wife, I don't have to pay her child support. Jeez. <laughs> I'm not sure if that scam would even work. 